I wanted to cover something today that seems to be a little polarizing in the watch collecting community, and that's matching your outfit to the watch that you have on. I know a lot of people couldn't care less about it. Other people make sure to match their outfit and watch. I'm the latter, I'm a matcher. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming either you are or you're interested in how to do it. There is actually a science behind it, and that's what this video is about. It's quite simple, so if you are intimidated or not sure about what matches with what, but you do wanna have a cohesive outfit, the next five minutes are for you. It's all about the color wheel and analogous and complementary colors. So let's actually stay right here. We're not in the basement today, we're upstairs in my bedroom because that's where my clothes are. I'm gonna give you a fashion show, but also break down the science behind color matching and how easy it can be for you. All right, I mentioned the color wheel, so let's start with that plus complementary and analogous colors so then we can get onto the watch examples. But complementary colors are on opposite ends of the color wheel. And really the color wheel could be also seen as a watch face. So you see the blue on the bottom left or around seven o'clock, its complementary color is on the opposite end. So the top right or around two o'clock, which is the orange. Now analogous colors, is the opposite. And with this McDonald's logo as an example, I'll show you analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. So you see the reds going into the yellow and orange, and also here with BP, yellow and green right next to each other on the color wheel. So if you're next to each other, you are analogous. Now let's bring in a watch example. One of my favorite outfits to wear, this is an example of analogous color matching because when we pull in the color wheel in a second, we'll see that the blue is next to the green, which is next to the beige of the jacket. So here it is, the blue at the seven, then you go up to around the 10 o'clock to the green and then up to the orange, which is basically where the beige family lives. All of these colors are next to each other on the color wheel, which makes them analogous. Here's another example with a different watch. You can do it with the watch strap or the watch face. Here the brown of the watch strap and the beige of the jacket next to the green, next to the blue. They're all analogous. So, I mean, just you can see when you look at this outfit, it matches. It looks good together, but that is the science behind why it matches. The same can be said for black and white colors because they also are all analogous to one another. While there is a color wheel, as we've been looking at, there is also a non-color wheel, if that makes sense, of the grays and the blacks. So you can see here with the SNXS on the right, it's all analogous colors, all the grays and blacks and silvers. They all are related to each other. They're all next to each other. They're all in the same family of hues, and that's why it works so well. Now, it works with this watch. It also works with the SKX. The SKX, the black of the dial, the white of the indices, matches with the white shirt, the gray pants, and they're all analogous. They're all in the same spectrum of colors. That's why it works. Now, here's an example of something I think does not work because the blue and brown of the Casio Duro, they are not in the same family. They're not analogous colors to the gray. Now, some people might say this pops, and look, it is all up to your personal opinion, so wear whatever makes you happy. But when we bring back in the SNXS, just look at how much more it is cohesive because all these colors are analogous. So that's analogous colors. Let's switch now to complementary colors, and let's use another famous real-world example with the Mountain Dew logo. Green and red, they are on opposite ends of the color wheel. So green on the top left or 10 o'clock, red around three or four o'clock, they're on opposite ends. They should clash, but in fact, they go together because they are complementary. The same thing with the Mozilla logo. The orange up around the 12 or one o'clock is exactly opposite of the blue down at the seven o'clock, they're complementary. And here's a great rule to use when wearing a gold watch, because gold is kind of hard to match with other things, but this is why gold and black go so well together, because they're complementary colors. You can see yellow near the top of the color wheel and the dark blue into black near the bottom of the color wheel. They're on opposite ends, which means they're complementary, which means they match. Here's another example with the SNZH57. The black of the dial matches with the black of the clothes, but the gold of the indices and on the bezel, it pops because it complements the black. It's on the opposite end of the color wheel. Now, it's not just with black and gold. The same can be said for the most famous color combination, in my opinion, 
brown, and blue. You cannot go wrong with brown and blue, and that's because they're complementary colors. Pulling up the color wheel again, this brown is almost like an orange, and you can see it right at the 12 or 1 o'clock of the color wheel. It's kind of like that Mozilla logo, the orange and blue. They just go so well together. Looking at the color wheel one more time, exact opposites, top right to bottom left. That's why they work. They're complementary colors. And you can see I actually added another color in here with this beige jacket. The beige is kind of like another brown. So there's two browns now, the strap and the jacket, complementing the two blues, which is the watch face and the jeans. Now here is an outfit with all of these theories put together. They're complementary colors and they're analogous colors. So the blue and the green, they're analogous. They are right next to each other on the color wheel, but they're both complementary of the red. So there's like a power clash plus an analogous match. We'll pull up the color wheel just to check our work, but you'll see the blues fade into green. So all of the left side of the color wheel is represented, but also they're complementing the brick red on the right. So two different forms of matching, and that's why I like this outfit so much. So that is the basic theory. Here's your color wheel one more time. Complementary colors on opposite ends of the spectrum, on opposite ends of the wheel, and analogous colors next to each other on the wheel. Use those principles. You shouldn't be led too far astray. So I hope that demystified matching just a little bit, and maybe now you know why I'm wearing this hat and not just to keep this hair under control. Again, the color wheel is more of a guide, so if you are on the fence about something or you wanna see if something's gonna match perfectly, it is something to consult. But at the end of the day, much like watches, it all comes down to your personal taste. You cannot listen to a single thing in this video if only you take away Wear what works for you, wear what you like, wear what makes you feel good. For me, matching either with complementary or analogous colors, I just feel better. If this is an angle that you would like to see covered more in the future, let me know in the comments. This is a new channel, so we're kind of shaping it as we go. There's at least two new videos every week too, so a subscription really helps the channel as well, and I'll see you soon.